glossopharyngeal. Okay, and you remember from my earlier talk on embryology, glossopharyngeal comes from your third pharyngeal arch. This is the Allen sugar of all nerves, and this is the one that Allen sugar hates because it don't do much. Okay, so if this was on the apprentice, this would be fired because it don't do much. So what does glossopharyngeal do? Out glossopharyngeal comes out of the jugular foramen and it's going to send off some branches which are going to head to the parotid. Remember the glossopharyngeal stimulates secretions from the parotid. It's also going to drop down and innervate the soft palate. It's going to innervate the posterior one third of the tongue for both sensation and taste. And then it's going to drop down and it's going to go to that area we talked about before, which is your carotid sinus, which is part of your baroreceptor reflex. And it's going to drop down here to one particular pharyngeal muscle. And that is stylopharyngeus. Next, I'll show you where glossopharyngeal nerve emerges from. There's glossopharyngeal nerve and that's the jugular frame. And that's it coming out here. And as you can see, if I place that down like this, that is quite close to this here. In red is, just get you some light, in red here is the carotid canal. There is the jugular foramen. And you can see how these would then travel down in a fajita wrap, which I call the carotid sheath, which is a layer of connective tissue that wraps around this and isolates this off. And through their carotid sheath would come down glossopharyngeal, vagus, and accessory, which we're going to talk about in a second.